So the first two episodes of WandaVision have hit Disney Plus now. I've just watched them. I'm going to let you guys know exactly how I feel about the show so far after watching the first two episodes. But I want to know down below in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I think this is going to be very divisive. This series is going to be very divisive. Because especially after watching those first two episodes, I have a lot to say. And yeah, I want to know what you guys all have to say as well. So smash that like button as well. Don't forget to subscribe and let's jump in to this review. Perfect. Okay, so the two episodes of WandaVision are out now on Disney Plus, so you can check that out. And I'm going to start off by saying, how do I actually feel about this so far after watching those two episodes? I am very mixed right now. It's super, super mixed. Because on one hand, it's very interesting, something unique, something different that we haven't seen in the MCU yet. And that's quite cool, because it's a bit of a refresh, it's refreshing. Because once you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, it gets repetitive, it gets boring, and then it gets predictable. But this isn't predictable, because this is something completely different that we haven't seen in the MCU so far. However, on the other hand, I don't understand and know exactly what is happening, what is going on, and how to really fully feel about it. Now, the first episode to me, it feels like filler. It feels like you don't need to watch the first episode. I just don't understand what was necessary of that first episode. It was literally a full sitcom with just Wonder and Vision as the characters. That was it. We already know these characters. We already have the backstory to these characters. We don't need to see more backstory and that going on. So the whole first episode, I was sitting there and I was kind of like, am I just watching a sitcom from back in the day? Because that's what it felt like. And I was like, this is unnecessary. I don't need to watch this. It ha So far, it has no impact. Because you can watch the first episode and it doesn't really tie into what's happening in the second episode. So it sort of feels like it's just a there episode. And that to me was not what I was expecting. I was expecting something a bit more with a bit more things happening in it. And it's just kind of like, this is what's happening. It's just the sitcom. And that, that was disappointing. I was really disappointed in the first episode. I'm not going to lie. The jokes in the first episode were very hit and miss. There were some that were... that made me chuckle a little bit, but then majority of them just were flat. It was just flat. It just didn't land properly. While the performances of Paul Bettany and um, Elizabeth Olsen were great, and same with the side characters, I just think the dialogue with the jokes and that just didn't land. Didn't land for me, and that took it down a notch as well. And it just made the first episode not very, like interesting and I was very disappointed in it. Now we go to the second one and a few more things start to happen in the second episode with certain things happening and I'm not 100% sure on still what's going on or what the purpose of this show is at the moment. I don't know because they give you little subtle hints after the first episode like at the end there of something happening and I was sitting there I was like okay and then you go to the second one, and it doesn't really explain that anymore. And I'm kind of like, so what's actually happening? How are we at this event? Like, how how is this happening? What is this in her mind? Is this what what is actually going on? And I don't know the purpose of the story. I think that's the biggest thing. After two episodes in, I'm kind of like, I have no idea what what direction this is going in, what the purpose is, or anything like that. I just feel like I've watched two episodes of a sitcom. And that's it. That's really all I feel like. And I'm just kind of like... And again, the jokes are hit and miss as well. And it's just... It hurts. It hurts because I've, I wanted to... This was one of my most intriguing watches. I wanted to see and be so intrigued and interested. And props from doing something different. But I just think at the moment, after the first two episodes, it's kind of a miss for me. It's just not hitting 
what I am want from it. Like, I don't expect it to be like the other MCU films and stuff like that. I don't expect it to be like a uh, Winter and Falcon movie, the Winter Soldier and Falcon uh, TV show, which is going to be pure action. That's that's fine. I, I'm all down for something different. But at the moment, it doesn't feel like it's being executed right. And the jokes, I think they're trying to play that real comedy aspect. And when you compare it to like the Thor Ragnaroks, it's nowhere near. Thor Ragnarok is funny and it's enjoyable and it's awesome. This WandaVision just doesn't seem to hit that same thing. And again, I don't really know what's going on. And I think that's a major thing in a TV show. If I don't understand and know what's going on after the first two episodes, or have some form of an idea of what is happening, then, I mean, it's kind of like, I'm going to struggle to be invested in it. And again, these episodes are very short as well. I don't know why they're so short. You know, what, the first one is like 20 minutes. It says, it says it's like 28 minutes. Something. It's 20 minutes and 7 minutes of um, credits. And then the next one's like half an hour, if that, as well. So I don't understand why they're so short as well. I was I expected them to be a bit longer, to be honest. So at this point in time, WandaVision is falling a bit flat for me. I'm still going to watch it because it's the MCU and it ties into Doctor Strange and stuff like that. So I need to watch this in order to be under to understand what is going to happen in Doctor Strange and moving forward in the MCU. So I need to watch this. At this point in time, if this was another TV show, to be honest, I would turn it off. I wouldn't I wouldn't watch it because the first two episodes have not encaptured me into this world and invested me. The only reason why I'm going to continue watching this is because I'm invested in the MCU. Because I like the MCU and I need to know what's going on. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it picks up and it actually starts to develop and show us the actual storyline and what is actually going on so that we have a better understanding. And hopefully, the jokes in that start to really get more entertaining. And I think that's another big thing to why the jokes aren't landing and stuff like that is because it's not as entertaining and it doesn't really capture me into that world and into the sitcom that they're doing. And with when that doesn't happen, I'm a bit dejected from it and therefore the jokes aren't going to land as much. Which is unfortunate because I was looking forward to One Vision. I wanted to see something unique and different. But it's not being executed properly in my opinion. So let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on WandaVision? I know this is going to be divisive. Some people are going to love this. Some people are going to hate it. It's good. This, this could be the most divisive film in all of the MCU. So, yeah. I mean, who? I want to know. So let me know in the comments below. And remember, be respectful. It's just opinions. Everyone's going to like something different. So don't go off at people and swear at them and absolutely abuse them. Because it's just all opinions at the end of the day. It's what we view as and how we feel about it. So make sure you smash that like button as well and subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.